So, in order to fill the early satellite light program, we need atmospheric analysis. And for atmospheric analysis, we need a heat shield, because there's no way we're going to bring this back safely from orbit without a heat shield. Now, a temperature and barometer scan and then return to science to KSC. I mean, I don't know. We've already done the temperature and pressure in, or in space anyway, so I don't know if it's gonna do anything. But we need more science in order to unlock the heat shields. We need 10. But, but maybe we'll get the 10 passively from our other satellites that are going on right now. There's 9.7 in the cosmic ray science. Let me just warp to complete that. Oh, we got we got some more there. Maybe we should just wait. Um, maybe I'll run all the experiments on the big one. All right, so we'll run all the things here in the hope that it won't die, and we can collect more science. And while it's collecting the science, we'll build most of the thing except for the heat shield. So our interest, our part of interest is actually the core here. No, well, you're already a cone technically. Let's just make a pod simulator. Well, it's it's got enough volume though. This 0.3 tons. We need enough mass for the heat shield. Let's just have them be able to carry one ton. Maybe we should have RCS on here, an RCS tank. Uh, we'll have to put the heat shield there. And we're supposed to have thermometer and barometer here. This doesn't have the science core thing, I think. Does it have those experiments? Oh, it does. It still has experiment slots. It looks weird with the boosters. We need bigger things up here. But for now, Atlas 2. And then we have to deorbit it. I don't know if we have enough HTP to deorbit. Might have enough HTP as it is, but just in case. For two hours, that's probably enough electric charge. Oh. How heavy is this? Less than 0.5. Well, this thing is 4 tons controllable mass, so that's no problem. Let's build what we've got here and then we'll sneak the heat shield in afterwards. Focus on when we get enough science, but... Well, that doesn't seem to be doing it. Yeah, okay, okay. Something's gone wrong with our satellite. No more electric charge. Oh, I just can't restore it at all? Can I stop you? They, should, they shouldn't even be running right now if it doesn't have electric charge. They should like auto shut down. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's never going to recover like this. If this was JPL, they'd figure something out, but we can't apparently. Oh wait, uh, 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 no, off! Ah, oh, I didn't catch it in time. Okay, we stopped one. Okay, stopped another. Oh, a little bit of recharging. Of course, solar panels do degrade. But that was a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Oh, now we've got actual power, but... I don't know why we're not recharging. Solar panels are huge. Doesn't seem like turning off the experiments helps anything at all. Even at the start it never got 54 watts. No, we just need more science. Well, I'll quickly try and do the Mach 2 plane again. If necessary, we'll lob another little rocket at Brazil. 
I don't know how much more we how much more do we have left on that photography. Uh, we still got 1.7 in the savannah if we need it. So all right, we'll do the usual. Okay, we'll have to train our Duncan Rivera, the world's esteemed Duncan Rivera. I don't know about this optional one when... Oh, it's got some stuff here. Oh, current reward is at 179% of its nominal value. Well, now you're talking. It was 0% the last time I looked at it. Oh, let's pick it up now then. Alright. Fly-by-wire on. Fall is up. And... Ignition. Okay, gear up, gear up, gear up. Really want a thinner cockpit. <laughs> um, although uh, the front of this tank is a little bit wider than it ought to be. I need to fix that. Seems like a little notch wider. No, that was not a good turn. Okay, we're getting the Mach 2 science and we're accelerating to get the optional high supersonic contract. And we are good on that. We just need to hold for three minutes at this sort of speed. Okay, so we've got the contract except for the landing portion. Oh, uh, uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't turn around just yet. We need to go a little bit further. We'll turn around when we're halfway through the science. Okay, we're gonna turn. Okay, we have all the data. So we will just uh, cut power and descend now. Looking fairly nice on approach here. Until right about there. Ooh, okay. Brakes. Oh no! Oh no! I should have just used the drag chute. Oh. Poor Duncan Rivera. That was a nicer landing than usual, too. Duncan Rivera, first to Mach 2, has perished. Did we get the black box? We didn't get the black box. Well... We've got another Kerbal. <laughs> we need the science. I, I, is it good to have an engineer do it? All right, well, let's take a look at the real antenna thing and see what it says about the power consumption on the on the solar power satellite. Communicate. Oh, it's collapsed. Power idle 2 watts, power active 20 watts. So, okay, set to 100% and now Kerbalism has more. But still, with the 45 watt power draw, regardless of the orientation of our satellite, we should still, and you know, running all the experiments, run, 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 although we were only running one actually. It doesn't matter what orientation it should have been in, we should have been recharging. Yeah, uh, 14 and yeah, efficiency 26. Great. So why were we getting that? Why were we getting it after a thousand days instead of the power we were supposed to be getting? Each panel, this one is 54 watts. You know, 52 to 55. These are 25 watts a piece. Probably if I had taken the 
come into consideration, we would have been able to figure it out a little bit better. But, well, right now we've got come, so, well, no, no, we don't. Now we do. No, we don't. So it says here, 78% wear. Somehow. And it's not getting nearly as much power as it ought to after 89 days. And we should have at least two panels pointing at any given time. So even with the transmission costs, we should have had enough more than two times. We should even have three panels getting power at any given time. It's, uh, I guess, confused by spin stabilization. Maybe instead of doing the another Mach 2 flight, we'll launch another one of those and try to get the science properly. I mean, again, it's really absurd because Vanguard was the first solar-powered satellite. And it had tiny solar panels. It was really, really small. <laughs> so... The idea that we have to make something like this is just amazing. So, I mean, we don't need all the experiments. Um, because we've done all we can with some of them. Anyway, we'll certainly check whether we start out with the right amount of um, degradation. It pisses me off that it takes a long time to build these solar panels. I mean... Uh, it's like more... Uh, like 10 days a piece. What we can do is try and get it to a high orbit instead. See this uh, early avionics, the power consumption is just 0.2 watts. Compared to 25 watts. Well, it'll probably fail on the first few launches. But I think we'll give the LR-105 a go. Uh, it should be the same fuel mixture, but just in case, let me... We're gonna push everything for as long as we can. Oh, uh, yeah, we're too light. Hmm. We could probably have the boosters go for a little bit longer. Maybe it's time for a different upper stage. The Veronique. Oh, well. I mean, Veronique has done well for us. Maybe we should have two. <laughs> Maybe we should have two of them. No, it'll have to be much more powerful than this. Unfortunately, the LR-105 can't be airlit. Otherwise, that would be a natural thing to do. Well, that'd be enough thrust-to-weight ratio, but this is too big. Seems dodgy. 98% reliability, though. This does not seem to have helped our situation. Oh, well, we do need to burn this for longer. But no, the Veroniques are just not efficient enough. And it's a high pressure tank. We don't want to overutilize a high pressure tank. Uh, underutilize a high pressure tank. Uh, I think that's killing the poor LR-105 like that. Yeah, I, I think we were better off with the LR-105 and the Veronique stage as it was. Even right now it is 10,544. Let's just, what if we abandon the whole concept of looks and go like that? And use this tank better. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference except we can't launch it. Maybe we can push these a little bit. I'll just take the tooling cost. Let's get these to their rated burn time. 
I don't know if that's enough to get this thing out to GTO. But I think we're gonna find out. What if we have... Well, the problem with spinning this stage on its own is it's so light that when we do the spinny thing... Because I was thinking of spinning it, you know, uh, pointed north. But if we do that, uh, it'll tend to wobble because the little SRBs tend to have different thrust and with a large body, it can deal with that, but when it's smaller, it can't. Okay, we'll build that. Oh, we did have to pay the entry cost. It's gonna take a bit. Well, we want to launch at night. So that the uh, apoapsis will be in daylight. But uh, how night are we? Uh, about the right kind of night. Alright. We'll try it. We have a negative 57 reputation though. Let me just take a peek at the solar panels. In shadow. Yeah, oh, okay, they don't tell me anything right now. Why is there only one unit of TTEV when there's room for three? I'm guessing that means only one engine's gonna light, right? Well... I think that was just a failure failure though. Okay, roll back. Where are you, KCT? Well, we knew the LR-105 would have problems initially. Alright, let's see if it lights now. Well, we have no T-Teb. <laughs> Surely we're supposed to have some. They light! So this is our first Atlas, Atlas-ish, Atlas sort of launch with the LR-105. Well, it seems like it'll start off with a thrust weight ratio of 1 after the boosters separate, so that's okay. Okay, booster set. Looks pretty good. But maybe not 35,000 kilometers good. Well, looks like it'll go for the full duration. Okay, separation, fairings, and ignition. I'll start things going anyway. Alright, I think we can go straight into it. Go! And go! I don't know, even though the range of our comms, probably not good. Ah, <laughs> uh, reduce thrust and reduce specific impulse. Ah, uh, that eh, probably wouldn't have made it anyway. It was pushing the burn time, but let's see. If we can recharge at all. It doesn't... Okay. So... This is how we're spinning. And it's not recharging right now. And we don't have pa uh, comms. We just launched it as 83% wear. Is that supposed to be how it is? It isn't even getting 10 watts. So, 
somebody more experienced with the current version of RP1, tell me why right after we launch, we can't get the desired power out of our solar panels. Uh, we'll have to check in the VAB to see about the G-forces. Uh, so, um, our max Gs... Oh, it actually isn't that bad. Anyway, so with that question about the solar panels in the year, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.